Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're heading to Barcelona. I'm looking forward to this one. I'm heading straight up to go through security because don't need to check in, I'm only traveling light. It's currently half five in the morning here at Bristol Airport. Um, my flight's at 8 a.m. so I've got a couple of hours to kill. So let's head inside for a coffee and maybe a nice breakfast as well. Wow, this is the quietest I've ever seen it in here. There's literally no queue. I'll be straight through here in a minute now. That was definitely the quickest I've ever gone through security. Literally like two minutes. Some of the prices in here are really good, but I never seem to buy anything. They got their Halloween stuff out in Costa. It is the 1st of October today. This looks good. So I've come to a place that does like burritos and tacos. I've gone with a breakfast bowl. There is cheese, fried tomatoes, eggs, and mushrooms in there. So looks pretty decent to be fair. I have no idea what that sauce is. And we went with a cappuccino as well. This table is seriously wobbly. Oh my word. First try. Nice. Good combination. Usually a breakfast is warm as well, but this is uh, all kept cold. So it's definitely a bit different, but it's, it's nice. It's definitely nice. I'm glad as well for a tenner. Just looking at the temperature in Barcelona today. Should get up to about 25 degrees today and 24 degrees tomorrow which is about 10 degrees hotter than the UK so I'll take it. I'm gonna check in with some clients now chill out for a bit and then we will get our gate number. Barcelona now boarding gate 11. Cool let's go. quite cold, I'm not gonna lie. It's about eight degrees. <laughs> Don't wanna speak too soon, but there's no one sat next to me. And every other row is fully taken. So I could be really lucky here. Yeah. If your device doesn't have this option, you have to switch off now and switch off for the operation. In case of an emergency evacuation, you must leave all your hand baggage behind. Too fast on a seat belt. On to the bus. Touchdown in Barcelona. The flight was just under two hours. I had my eyes shut for like the majority of the flight, but I just couldn't get to sleep. It was a kid screaming the whole time. So annoying. <laughs> when I usually travel with my wife, I always give her the window seat, so it was quite nice to have a window seat today. Some nice views on that flight. It was a good smooth flight as well, good landing, so happy with that. Anyway, let's get through passport control and then get out. It's quite a busy flight that was, to be fair. Now I've booked a shuttle transfer that I gotta go and find. And then we're gonna have a day out. We've got two days to do as much as we can. I'm looking forward to it. So we've got the transfer details. We've got to head over to the other side and that's the pickup point. The bus will be here in half hour. Well, it's warmer than the UK, that's for sure. It's not boiling by any means, but it's, uh, it's about 22 degrees at the minute, but it's supposed to be about 25 later. But for October, I'll take that. 
I'll take that definitely. It's been pissing down in the UK lately as well and it's just been shit. So nice to get some sun. So I'm on bus A and either, neither of these have A on it so I'm not going to get on just in case. <laughs> so it is this one but it didn't say A anywhere on the bus so I don't know how I was supposed to know that it was bus A. Oh well, we're on. So the bus has just left. It was supposed to leave at 12.25. That's what time it said on my paperwork. And it's just gone quarter past. So I'm really glad that I was here early. It's good to be moving because it's been stop and start through traffic lights and zebra crossings, as I say that. <laughs> Timing. It's been like that for the last 45 minutes. Just in and out of lights. Yeah, it's very busy, very busy city around the airport in the central area. We should be getting to our accommodation in about 15 minutes. Definitely glad to be off that transfer. Just stop, start constantly for an hour. Oh cool, they got they got the Barcelona Prime. It's cool. I'm just gonna get a drink in here and then we're gonna find somewhere to eat later on then. Nice and cold and fresh. So we like it. Mm. Needed. Just for the main event. That's chocolate donut just it just looks nice. It is as well. So I've dropped my bag off at the accommodation and now I'm walking to the famous place, Sagrada Familia. Really looking forward to seeing this. Wow. It's a lot bigger in person, I gotta say, than on the photos. So you can obviously go inside and buy tickets. I haven't booked that today and it looks way too busy, so maybe next time. So this has been under construction for over 130 years and they expect it to be finished in 2026, which is still two years away. There's so many people from so many different countries here to see this as well. Don't blame them, it's absolutely incredible. And it's just a really nice vibe around here as well. I'm going to walk around to the other side as well to see if there's a good view on the other side. I'm not going to go inside because there's just way too many people. I'd be queuing for too long. But next time I'm definitely going to book that. This looks good in yeah. Trying to get a gift for the missus. These look really cool. Nice crosses. This looks like a popular photo spot. I think they're doing like professional photos over there as well, by the looks of it, which is cool. Yeah, by the looks of it, they're doing professional shots for there, which is cool. If you want to do that. So just picked up a nice ice cold Monster Energy. I got this for Clo, which I think is really nice. You got the cross there as well. And also a magnet for the fridge. Some places to eat here as well. They got Burger King, they got Taco Bell, McDonald's down there, Five Guys. They got loads of places to eat down here, which is good. Get a side view as well, some sort of football ground.
definitely not where Barcelona play, but still. Well, it looks like you can get in here for free. I don't know who plays here, but it seems like a decent pitch, to be honest. Well, they got Nutella lollies. Wow, they're very nice. So many different flavors. Thank you very much. Yep, yeah, our card? Yes. Went with a kinder one. Fair play, this is one steep ass hill. Not a problem though for a finely tuned athlete like myself. I'm hoping to get a nice view of the city when I get up here as well. It's already a decent view from here. I can see some crosses on the top of there. Looks like a good viewpoint, but it's all fenced off, so I'm hoping we can get around. Let's have a look. I think you can only go in there if you have tickets, but still, got a nice view. Sun's just setting over the mountains over there. Beautiful evening. But I gotta say from what I've seen of Barcelona so far, it's a beautiful city. Very busy, but a beautiful city for sure. So that's a map of Park Giel, Guel, however you say it. I definitely think it's worth getting tickets for and I'll definitely do it when I come back one day I would have paid for a ticket tonight but it was all sold out unfortunately so the kitchen's closed in that one they're only doing sandwiches but this one just across here looks like they do pasta dishes and pizza and stuff so let's have a look hello sir hello to the YouTube <laughs> hey man, what's up? The, ki the, the kitchen open in here? Cause kitchen open till 9 o'clock. 9, cool, thank you. Are you alone or with the group? Yes, yeah, just on my own today. Just you? Yeah, yeah. And your camera. Own. Just me and my camera. <laughs> so this looks nice. Let's have a look at the menu. I'm looking for like a pasta dish or something. Or pizza. Here we go. This is what we want. This is perfect. I found the perfect place here. Probably gonna go with a pasta dish. I am looking forward to this. It's not a massive portion, I'm not gonna lie. That's really nice. It's actually quite a decent portion. It's more of deep than wide. I love them blue lights. Nice. Yes. Still a really nice temperature outside as well. It's quite peaceful walking in the streets. Anyway, I'm going to head back to the accommodation now, get an early night. Got a busy day tomorrow, but it's going to be good. I'm really excited. Catch you tomorrow. Good morning. So we got a busy day today. We're gonna to go to La Boqueria now, which is Barcelona's most famous food market. Then we're gonna to go to Barcelona Cathedral and then we're gonna head down to the beach, check that out as well. So it's an exciting day, I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna head down now to La Boqueria. It's about 3.6 kilometers on the map. So yeah, gonna be doing quite a bit of walking today. But that doesn't bother me. I do a lot of walking, a lot of running anyway. So yeah, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Whenever I go abroad, I always get bitten. Like, they don't even look bad. But they are itching so fucking badly right now. Something I've noticed about Barcelona as well is that there's no button to press to cross the road. It just does it automatically. Usually in the UK, you press the button and boom, but no. Yeah, they're all automatic here. I don't know if that's the same in quite a lot of cities, I don't know, but that's the first time I've seen it. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six lanes. That's a lot of lanes. 
Wow. Busy road. Okay, here we are. La Boccaria food market is just in there. Let's go check it out. Fresh protein. Yeah, already it just looks incredible. Look at all that. I haven't even fully got in yet and there's still so much to see already. Look at all that. I don't know where to go. A lot of that's ready to eat now as well, which is good. They don't just do food that you have to cook, they also do ready-made food as well. See there's loads of people eating up there. Oh, look at the size of them donuts, wow. Them croissants look amazing, I might have to get one of them to be honest. Wow. So many different colours. I just don't know where to look. Oh, look at that. That looks nice and fresh. Thank you. That one. Okay, I went with that orange and strawberry one. Let's try it. Oh, it's nice. Really nice. That is so unbelievably good. Very fresh. Oh, it's re-energizing as well. Well, that was cool. Next stop now is Barcelona Cathedral, which is only an eight minute walk. So it should literally just be up there and to the right. I would get the missus some flowers, but it's not like I can bring them on a plane. It's just a beautiful city, I gotta say. Nice vibe around you. That is definitely not getting through there. I don't know, maybe. Put your mirrors in and you might. It's blocking the whole, uh, it's blocking the whole walkway, I can't get past. I don't know, I might be able to fit through here actually. God, that'll be tight but I can get through it. That is tight. There it is. We're gonna go around and have a better look. That looks amazing. You can book tickets to go in there as well and have a look. <laughs> if that's something you're interested in. I definitely think it would be worth it. Another incredible thing to see here in Barcelona. Just on my way to the next location, which is called Barceloneta Beach, which is right by the W Hotel. So, looking forward to seeing this one. Haven't been down to the beach yet since I've been here. This looks like a really nice place to run. I might come down here later on. That yacht in the background. If you're into your running, definitely come down here to the marina and the beachfront because it's absolutely perfect running, running territory. I think on the streets, it's very much stop, start, stop, start, traffic lights zebra crossings wouldn't really be suitable for a run because you'd just be start and stop all the time but this is just perfect running territory down here so if you're into running definitely come down here the sun's not really shining at the moment so the water doesn't look the best color but 
Here we are. Gonna head in there for a nice cold drink and a chill on the beachfront. What a vibe, love it. Nice red bull to energize with a lovely view. Got the W Hotel in the background as well. I'm glad that red bull was nice because it was just under five euros. Gonna take a better look at the W Hotel. It's not actually that big, I thought it'd be a lot bigger than that. Before they got like a little outdoor workout area there. So I don't think it's a nudist beach, but I have seen quite a few people with their full package out on show. I think I'll pass on that one. Here's a better look at the W Hotel. Got like a cable cart running up there as well. Just spotted a KFC. It's a little one as well, right on the beachfront. And I'm not that hungry. So this is perfect, so I'm just gonna have something small. This is the tiniest KFC I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen that before. Jumpers, what the hell's that? Jumpers meal. And we got a burger with chicken, cheese, and bacon. Oh yes. I have no clue why, but that was the best burger I've ever had in KFC. <laughs> really enjoyed that. Really filled the gap as well. I only wanted something small until later on. I'm just walking the other way up the beach now, see if there's anything interesting up here. Plenty of people running and cycling. Perfect place for it. That's cool, they got like concrete seating areas. So this beach is called Samoro Stro Beach. We were on down by the W Hotel, that was Barcelonetta Beach. This one's a bit more quiet. It's nice as well. People playing volleyball. Quite a few boats in there. Wow. I'm amazed at how many boats are in there. And this is Nova Icaria Beach. Wonder how much it is to rent these. Probably quite a lot. So today in total I've walked 13 kilometers and I've just jogged 5k now. So a total of 18k today, which is good. I managed to get on a bus which is good. For free as well. So the guy on there, the contact listing, my phone wasn't working on there for some reason. So he said just get on for free. Happy days. That bus was super cramped. I'm really glad to be off there. I had to give up my seat for an older lady. Well, I didn't have to, but I did. And uh, yeah, I just got off early. I've only got a 10 minute walk now, which is a little bit better. <laughs> my accommodation has these donuts and cakes, and they're so nice. Meatballs and cheese can't go wrong. And we got, we got three cookies as well. Chocolate chip, strawberry cheesecake, and Another chocolate, oh no, that's the rainbow one. Rainbow and then chocolate chip. It's got three different flavors.
First time trying the strawberry cheesecake cookie from Subway. I've never seen this before. Mm. Very nice. So people, that's going to bring this video to an end. If you enjoyed, please leave it a like, subscribe if you're new. We've got plenty more travel planned, plenty more videos coming, so stay tuned. Catch you in the next one.